In this video, we're going to demonstrate basic scanning using the 34980A switch measure unit in conjunction with the 34832A Benchlink Data Logger Pro software. We'll show you how to configure the setup, how to add instruments uh, into the software, how to create a scan list, and then within that scan list, how to configure actual measurements, how to set up the timing for the scan list, then running the scan list and ultimately exporting the results of the uh, scan list, the data, to a file. We're going to start from scratch. We're going to go ahead and create a configuration. Now I can go ahead and name that configuration anything I want, a unique name. So in this case, I'm going to call it Getting Started with Scanning. Okay, once I get that typed in, I'll go ahead and hit OK down here. And you'll notice we now have that as a name up top. We're going to add instruments to the configuration. This is going to use an I.O. library that's downloadable from Agilent Technologies. Uh, it's going to go out and scan on its uh, I.O. and find instruments. In this case, we found our 34980. So I'm going to go ahead and select it. Once I select it, you'll see its configuration. Notice it has a 70-channel read mux, mux built into a, or loaded into channel 1. So I'm going to go to channel 1. I'm going to start cons uh, configuring five different scans. In the first one, I'm going to look at the power in, which is a DC voltage. I actually want to look at it with a lot of accuracy, so I'm going to go to six and a half digits. On channel two, I'm going to look at a fairly low, uh, low resistance load. So to make the best possible measurement there, I'm going to want to go to uh, four wire ohms to compensate for any lead resistance I may have. The next uh, channel, channel three, I'm going to look at a, a higher impedance load. So I'm not as concerned about the wiring, so I'm going to go ahead and use a uh, two-wire ohm technique on that to make the measurement. Um, next, I'm going to look at the output frequency. So I'm going to, let's see, output frequency, there we go, and come down and find frequency in my pull-down list. And then on the fifth one, I'm actually going to uh, look at the oven temperature. Now, we can use a bunch of different sensors. These are all universal inputs, so I can select almost any kind of temperature sensor. In this case, I have a 10K thermistor, and I'm going to measure it in degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, so that sets up my scans individually, what they're going to do on each channel. Now I want to set up the scan itself, so I'm going to go to the uh, scan setup. I'm going to have it immediately start as soon as I click the little green button in the upper right-hand corner. I want to take a scan every three seconds, so let me uh, bring this down to three seconds. And I want to do, well, i got to decide how many scans I want to do. So in this case, I want to do 20 scans. So I'm going to go ahead and change that 8 to a 20. There we go. So 20 scans, 3 seconds each for about 1 minute of scanning. So I hit OK. Now I want to look at the results and I want to see them graphed out. So I'm going to go to Quick Graph. That will display the uh, scan data. When I hit the green button here, okay, you'll see some downloading and configuring down to the instrument itself. And now I'm off and running. Okay, So we start getting plots. Notice that it's updating, like I said, every 3 seconds. It, uh, it gets new data and plots it out. All that data is being saved away as well. That scan data is being put into an internal register, which I'm going to show you later on how to go ahead and grab it. Now, all the graphs uh, are different colors, and those were assigned down below here. You can see the different uh, channels. Each one's represented by a different color. Okay, so we're up to about 16 scans, 17. Okay, so when I hit 20, uh, it should stop, and it'll tell us that we've got data. Okay, so there we go. We, we've stopped the scan. It says, oh, here I've got scanned uh, data, and there's a summary here and so forth. I'm going to go ahead and export the data. To do that, I have to uh, first give it a name, and that name is fine. I'm, I'm not going to change that. But then I also have to tell it where, uh, where I want it loaded. So I do that. I get her the name of the folder and where it's going to go to, and I say, okay. Uh, it should go ahead and export the data. So... When it's done, it'll come up and tell me, oh, data's been extorted, exported to this file. Okay, so we've shown you how to configure the setup, how to set up the, uh, or add instruments to the configuration, how to create a scan list, and within that scan list, how to set up individual channels and configure the measurement on each channel. We've set up the scan list timing, we've run the scan, and we've exported data out to, uh, out to a file. So, to find out more information, go to www.agilent.com slash find slash 34980A. Thanks.